Hi, you're watching Astro Pedro, and in this video, I'll show you how I imaged M101, the Pinwheel Galaxy. My name is Pete Rainford and welcome to my YouTube channel Astro Pedro. Astro because I'm an amateur astronomer and astro photographer and Pedro because I spent uh, 20 years in Spain uh, so a lot of people used to call me Pedro and, and still do. I'm going to be uploading weekly videos if possible due to the brilliant nay, perfect weather we get here in the UK, possibly more if, um, if the summer trees is nicely. Uh, I'll be photographing um, nebulae, galaxies, galaxy season at the moment is we're very early in May, comets, planets, moon, you, you name it, I'll, I'll be doing some of that. Oh, and star clusters, don't forget star clusters, beautiful things. Because this is my first YouTube video, I'll be going through some of the equipment that I use, and I'm going to be using it to bring you these videos. So let's get to tonight's target. Tonight's target is M101, the pinwheel galaxy. M101 is what we call a face-on galaxy, which is why it's such a great target for astrophotography. It lies approximately 21 million light years away from Earth, and it's located in the constellation Ursa Major. Discovered in 1781 by Pierre Macan, at least I'm assuming I'm pronouncing that correctly, it was then added later that year to um, Charles Messier's uh, catalog. It's a very large galaxy, it has a radius of 85,000 light years and it contains over one trillion stars. I'm planning on getting some three minute exposures of M101 in luminance red, green and blue, all with my ZWOASI 183 monochrome camera. I've been experiencing a lot of uh, problems with my setup uh, recently, one reason or another which I won't go into right now. So the amount of exposures I get tonight will uh, depend greatly on how how I can sort these problems out. I'm hoping that I'm at that stage where uh, an hour or two tweaking things tonight should really sort this out and uh, I'll be able to get plenty of data. I originally purchased the uh, Exos 2 PMC8 mount to use with my Altair Starwave 70mm triplet. An Altair Starwave dedicated 0.8 by reducer flattener and Altair GP Cam 1600 monochrome camera. So I finished building my uh, dome observatory in uh, mid-February and I've had no end of problems since then battling with equipment, software, settings, you name it. So I took the plunge and decided to simplify things. I bought a Skywatcher HEQ5 and an ASI Air Plus hoping that this would simplify the process and eliminate various problems I'd have with connectivity with a mini PC that I have in the observatory at the mount and um, various other problems with capture software and settings, Wi-Fi settings with the PMC8 mount because it's controlled via Wi-Fi. I've had problems with um, serial cables trying to connect it you know, with a, a wired connection. So this was my decision to, um, to move on to HEQ5 wired to the ASI Air Plus. After ordering the ASI Air Plus, of course, I realized that my Altair GP cam and my QHY guide camera would now be of no use as um, the ASI Air Plus demands um, the use of ZWO cameras. With that in mind, I had to then repurchase the guide cam and the main cam. I already had a ZWO filter wheel, uh, the Mini um, 5. 1.25 inch filter wheel, which I've now replaced with a, a 7 um, filter filter wheel, also set to wheel of course, 
and I already had the focuser, which I was having trouble with as well. Turns out it's not the focuser at all, it's, um, it's something else, which is amusing, to say the least. So I purchased a new ZWO planetary camera, which is um, now my guide camera, and uh, a used uh, 183mm uh, ZWO monochrome camera to replace the, the Altair GP cam. Now I love the purple look of the Altair gear. Uh, it really does contrast um, the scope and everything, but I love the Rainford Red look I'm sporting now. Just look at it. <laughs> so the weather right now is cloudy and overcast. The weather outside you say that it is going to clear up later. So I'm hoping of getting a good few hours of data. Looking at getting some three minute exposures. I've had focus problems, I've had tracking problems. Um, I've had communication problems with the mount. For the mini PC, I'm hoping that this ASAI Air Plus will sort all that out. Tonight will tell the tale. So as you can see, the skies did eventually clear. And I'm gonna get things set up, see if I can iron out some of these problems I've been having. Fingers crossed. My observatory's got unspoiled views from north to south, really on facing east. So not ideal, but um, plenty of sky to go. M101 is nice and high in the sky, so imaging this uh, target should be fairly easy. Assuming I do get some good data this evening, I'll be processing the subs in Deep Sky Stacker, Star Tools, and Git. My advice? Use free software where possible, unless budget's not a problem. So, the clouds did eventually disappear, and I began my setup hoping to iron out the problems I've been having with poor focus, plate solving, and guiding. By 1.30 in the morning, my first passable image of this setup in my new observatory finally loaded up on my tablet screen in the ASI Air app. It had taken me four to five hours on top of the previous five or six weeks to finally overcome problems with hardware, software settings, guiding, focusing, and tracking to finally, finally get this first sub of M101 staring back at me on my screen in all its splendor. I sat there weepy eyed and took a few minutes to reflect on the journey so far. I couldn't resist the cold Spanish lager from the fridge to celebrate. So it's 1.30 in the morning, guiding is good, focus is good, and the skies are clear. Got to be working in the morning, but I can't resist getting some data so I can finally process an image. I managed to get just an hour's worth of three minute subs in luminance red, green and blue. I stack these subs in Deep Sky Stacker, then I process them in Star Tools. I'm unfamiliar with Star Tools, but from watching a few tutorial videos, I wanted to give it a try instead of Photoshop or PixInsight. It looks to be a simple workflow that yields good results. The end result can then be further processed in GIMP or Photoshop or whatever software you use. So here's my very first astro image with this setup in my first observatory in my very first YouTube video. 23 minute subs in LRGB. The scope used is Altair Astro 70mm EDTF triplet on a Skywatcher HEQ5 mount. My main camera is the ZWO ASI 183 mono camera. My guide camera is the ZWO 120MMS. Also uses the ZWO autofocuser and a 7 position filter mode. 
the ASRAF plus then brings all this together. Here's my image, still messed up.